Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're in Euro Truck Simulator 2 doing a mod review for the Dong Feng. Now it's been a while since we've seen this truck and a lot, little bit has actually changed in it. So let's jump into the customized configuration to check it out. Now first of all there is two cabins for you to have a look at here. So there's the day cab and then you get the uh, larger cab there with a little bit of a sleeper in there. So um yeah whichever you choose there now if we go into the accessories it doesn't really change a great deal so uh it's pretty much you know almost the same except for you know the there's the roof bit on the roof and that so you get a roof rack there and you know so make sure if you want sort of certain things on there that to choose the things that you're after so uh, then you got lights on the back there and then you get yeah, that's that light in the interior so and oh that adds another spot there for you can have horns there you go so uh, make sure you choose wisely so now we go off to the actual chassis and then we go there's the 4x2, 6x2, 624, 62 tag lift, 624 mid lift and 6x4 uh, I'm going to choose the 6x4 for today the engines now there's a few different engines you can choose from there's the packer there's the uh, d16 g700 euro 5 engine uh, i think that is a daf engine is it or, or something like that or it's just standard euro 5 engine then you got 750 horsepower a thousand horsepower and there's that uh, euro 5 engine again with 800 horsepower so there's a bit to choose from there so We'll have a look at those engines to see if it changes the sounds or not. Now, over to the transmission, you get the ZFAS Tronic, the Tronic with R, this retarder, and that's a 12 speed, and there's a 10 speed there, and 10 speed with retarder. So, uh, oh, actually, they both look the same, don't they? L long, L, L long, W, uh, W O R, there we go. So, there's the difference. Uh, I'm going to choose the 12 speed. Now for the interior, having a look at the interior now, uh, the interior in this is actually not bad. I like this. It's very smooth. It's not too, you know, jaggedy in places like a little bit there, a little bit there, but that can be forgiven. In the bulk, if you have a look at the area where you're actually looking most of the time, it's not too bad. It's actually quite good. So uh, very nice indeed. Now we head on over to the paint job and there's only a few to choose from so you got white, shadow grey, custom colour, at least you can choose a custom colour which is good and then there's custom metallic which gives you a nice selection of custom metallic colours and yes all three of these do work so there we go very good. Uh, I'm just going to go back to white now uh, down to the accessories and this is everyone's favorite part uh, we have a little spoiler or lip at the front there which doesn't look too bad I mean th that one's pretty good and that one's nice as well if we turn the lights on yeah they work see very good and what about that one there yeah that works too now it also allows you to put on other little things as well so you can put on you know other lights or you can go and put on a number plate or whatever uh, I'm going to take that off because it's a bit too much to muck around with all the lights that you can choose for this. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's the... That's on the front there. Now, uh, daylights. You can have running lights. So there's your running lights. It puts it inside there. And then we have more lights. You can go crazy again, putting tons and tons of lights on their number plates, whatever you want. Go nuts. Um... We'll put the number plate on there there we go and then you can also put on num another number plate as well now if you're interested you can actually put on you know that that's the um, Arabic Arabic number plate or whatever and there's your numbers there so that's pretty cool I guess I like how they do it so you can select your numbers and you can put on whatever number you want on there it's really good uh, then up here we have little strips so you can go different colored strips up there yellow silver and orange I'm gonna put yellow strips on there you know like the little fluorescent strip 
Now, over there is the... That's for the side skirts. Now, you can actually choose different side skirts. And the best way to see the different ones is to spin it around to the side there. There you go. I'm going to choose that one. There is a little bit of a problem here with the model. You can see that there's an exhaust. The old exhaust has not been removed and it still sticks out there. So it looks a little bit funny. But, yeah, never mind. And you can go ahead and put a ton of lights on there as well, if you wish. So heaps there. Now, uh, just there, before we move any further, is the wheel well. Now, if you do put that on, then you do lose the spoiler. So that's a bit of a pain. I like the spoiler, the front spoiler, so I'm going to keep that on there. Now, uh, let's go back and... Oh, no, we want that one. There we go. That's the one there. And you can go and put on more lights there if you want as well. So there's tons of places to put on heaps of lights on here, guys. So uh, that is the center. So that you can change the color there. And we showed that, didn't we? Where we can... Where is it? There we go. You can actually change that around there if you want. But bear in mind, uh, if you go and put on... Where is it? Uh, there is a configuration there that if you do change it, it will actually mess it up. So just be careful. Alright, so... Uh, there's that, there's that. And again, more lights and stuff. You can go crazy with stickers and, you know, all sorts of things you can put on there. Now, up here is the driver's plate. So you can go and put in your driver's plate if you want. And there's the co-driver's plate. There we go. Up here, you can actually change between... I think it's a transparent and a solid plastic. So solid dark plastic and more of a, a, a tinge, sort of a tint than anything else. So yeah, there's two different visors you can put on. Uh, that is the, the mirror. But the mirror does take the main mirrors away. So be careful what you select there. I'm going to just take them off completely because you need the main mirrors more than anything. And there we go. There is the main mirrors. The choice of main mirrors there. To be honest, I actually like those ones in plastic on this truck. I think that looks a lot, looks really good. Now that dot there is the main mirrors again. Then we go over to here and you can put some lights on. And they are sitting on there properly. I did check that before because that was... Look like they're not, but they are. Uh, then if you go and put that on, it does remove those lights. But you can go and put on some, you know, spotlights on there as well if you want. And as you can see, they work very nicely. There you go. You can never have too many spotlights on in the dark. Need to see where you're going. Now, just up here is that is the horn so you can add that in there you can add three or you can add uh just the one and that's raw then there's uh it says beacon i know it says beacon but it's not it's an interior light so you can change a whole different lots of colors from blue green orange red and white so heaps to choose from now on the back there if you want to go nuts again with your lights you can do so however you can't spin it round and do it from this side. This is where I thought it would have been better to have it from that side so you can see it. But no, it's only visible from there, which is a bit of a pain. Well, I thought so anyway. Now, that is... There we go. That is the actual fenders on the back there. So you can take them on and off. Uh, there's the, the side skirts. Now, uh, down to the rims. Now, pay attention here on the rims because there is a problem with one of the actual rims that I saw. Now, um, you, for the tires, if you've got the Michelin pack, you can go and choose any of these Michelin tires. There's heaps to choose from. Now, one of the things that I did see in the rims here is there's a wonderful selection of rims here which you can go through and choose... But if you go to Max 7, it crashes the game. Okay, so I had it crash before because I chose Max 7. So just be wary when you're doing that. Again, with the nuts, make sure you just put on stock there so that it uh, skips over. Uh, again, if you put that on there, it just doesn't look right. Doesn't suit. 
So, uh, the rim, what rim do we have? We had rim 5. Again, so we're going to go Michelin because we I like those Michelin tyres on this uh, in the game. And then the rims, we will go Mac 5. Yes. There we go. So that's not quite sitting right, is it? Oh, no, it is. It's just the, the way that the rim's hanging out looks a little bit funny. So there we go. And... But it looks, I think it's meant to be like that, to be honest. And let's take that off anyway. No? All right. Won't let us. And then Mac 5, uh, we go to tire, and then we go Michelin. Where is it now? That one there. And then Mac 5, there we go. See, that looks quite nice. I like that. Definitely a different where the rim's poking out. I actually like that. And there we go, you can put the number plate on. And again, on the back here, you can put the number plate on, if you want. Uh, I only want it on one side. Over here is the side mirror. You can go and put a mirror on the side there if you want. And down there is, we've checked that, we've checked that. And there we go, that's the main mirrors. And there we go, that is everything from the outside. Now, the inside. It gets very interesting here. Again, there's the main mirrors. Now, there's a blind that is there. I got a feeling that's going to be an animation that's going to wind it up. Uh, there's a GPS if you want to put a GPS on. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a GPS, but I don't know if it's going to activate or not. Driver's plate. Can't change the steering wheel. Uh, and you can put in here a picture of some people. And there you can go and put on some things let's put on my favorite there the hula girl and we'll put on the doggy there we go what else can we put something else on there uh let's put on the michelin man there we go now down there you can have some sort of cooker to make yourself tea while you're driving i think that that would be highly illegal but i'm sure that you know people would do it anyway I would have thought it would have burnt the dash or something, but anyway. Um, there's a bag, overnight bag, leans bag, or a computer you can have there. Some more dots and accessories and stuff like that you can have on there. See, there's a mug put in there. That's pretty good. I like that. It's nice. There, uh, that was a teapot. There's the bags. Now, right there, this is a easy miss, this dot, so be careful. It adds all this sort of carpet look in there. I think that's actually quite cool. I like that. There's another photo you can add up there. There's that side mirror. Uh, there's the mirror on the outside, which you can't see here. But anyway, that's all this. Oh, sorry. And up here, we did mi almost miss a dot you can put on if you got the accessory pack. And there's a curtain there you can go and put on there as well. So very cool. And look at all the lights you can put on the outside of the actual uh, sun visor. That's really cool as well. Well, let's confirm that. And there's our truck. And let's do a trade-in on the last mod. And let's see how long it takes to load. And away we go. Is it going to take long at all? Uh, it's taking a while. Yeah, there we go. It's also... Oh, that's lagging up the system as well. That skin is dirty as anything. Look at that. It really does show up out here. That's a shame. I don't know why that would be like that. But anyway. Just turning down that volume. I think that's going to be pretty loud. So there we go. Uh, looks, looks okay. It just looks very dirty on the outside there. I don't know why it would look like that. Very strange indeed. Alright, so let's see if this goes up, this thing. There we go, look at that. And the window goes down as well, see that? See, look at that. Window. That's pretty cool. There we go. Uh, 
I'm just trying to... Yeah, the sound there is very loud, isn't it? With these mods, it's very hard with the sounds. There we go. Let's listen to the horn. Air horn. No air horn. Alright, wipers. There's the wipers. We'll quickly jump on the inside there. Yep, wipers are working. And turn them off. There's a couple of speeds there. Now, uh, flashes. Yep, flashes are working. Yep. And then we go lights. Yep, lights are working. Very good. High beams. Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Huh. I like that. That's really good. Look at that's very, very white light, that is. Very white light. All right. Well, let's jump on the inside here and turn those flashes off. Now, let's push the display. Cross your fingers. All right. That's working. That's fine. Okay. Now... Let's take it for a, a spin. We'll go to the service center. Oh man, that steering is very heavy. Oh, jeez. Nice sound effects. I like the sound effects in this. No banana brake. All right, mate, come on, you can go. We're just going through the red. Wow, there we go, that is... It's very, very... different to other trucks, it really is. And it's, I mean, it. there's nothing wrong with it. It just feels like a, a truck. It really, really does. And that's the whole idea of it. Does it feel like a truck? Is it more feel like a car or, or whatever? So, um, but yeah, it's definitely uh, more like a truck. And it's very interesting. Even the indicator sound is different. I've never driven one of these trucks before, but... I'm wondering if that's how it really sounds. Uh, I think this is a very interesting mod so far. There we go. I think this is actually quite good, this mod. It's, um, but is it worthy of the weekly drive? Well, that's not up to me, guys. That is up to you. But first, before you make your decision... Let's get over to the service center and check out these engines. See if these engines have different sounds. That's not... There we go. Oh, I'm cutting. Listen to that. That is actually really good. I'm actually liking this the way it is. Now, I wonder how it would be with an actual load on it. I reckon that would be interesting. So, I think overall this has got a few little faults in it, but it's not un it's not sort of like faults that are that bad. I mean, couple of little things here and there that you can work by if you like this truck then you're going to sort of uh, forgive that aren't you so all right so let's jump on the outside here there we go and uh, then we'll jump in to check out the other engines let's go to the that one there Starter up. 
So it's the same sounds. So all the way around it's the same sounds, guys. So there you go. Well, uh, well, actually, no, I'm just going to try, quickly try, before I not write it off completely. Let's go and try that one there. I'd say it'd be all the same sounds all the way around, but at least we can double check now. Yeah. It's a little bit different sound, that one. Yeah, it's got more of a, like, uh, I've got more oomph sort of sound. Yeah, still very similar. But, uh, guys, look. That's pretty much it for today's uh, mod review. What do you think? Do you think this is worthy of the weekly drive? If you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then say yes in the comments below. Say, yes, I would like to see this in the weekly drive. If you don't want to see this in the weekly drive, then say, no, I don't want to see this in the weekly drive. Um, overall, I think it's quite a good mod. It uh, just could use a little bit more polishing, and then I'm sure it'll be a lot better. Anyway, guys, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel and check it out. We've got over 1,600 videos there for you to watch, so plenty to watch and keep you entertained. But uh, until next time, guys, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. If you'd like to subscribe or you'd like to visit our website, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on!